Hey guys, welcome back. We are now on episode 12 of the Dax Annie Pattern Series. Daniel, thank you for joining me, and why don't you give us a little bit of information on what we'll be talking about today. Yeah, thanks for the intro, Reed. Hi. Mm -hmm. Today, we are going to cover something that's, um, um, you know, fairly basic, I guess. Um, <laughs> here's the formula of a calculated column, and the actual column inside upper doesn't matter also it could be lower the important part here is that people sometimes create calculated columns so that they can join and they make sure that everything is in the same register as in upper or lower because they think mm. otherwise uh, there might be issues so <clears throat> what do you think about this read well, I would say mistake number one is you're joining off of a, uh, um, well, I guess pro it's, it is technically a product key. It's like a hex code. Um, but I would say at least they're not joining off a of product name, which that, you know, you give a slap on the hand when, when they're doing that. Though, you know, admittedly, some people have to join on text fields because they just don't have keys for it. Uh, let's see. Yeah. So looking at product SKU, you have, a, you have a mixture of numbers, characters, and symbols, uh, or at least uh, you, you have a dash. So. If you uppercase this, I, I would assume you would also you are also applying it on the other table, um, but well, yeah, let's I, imagine so. Yeah, yeah. The only thing, I've not honestly done this really in DAX. I usually do it in Power Query when I typically do yeah, uh, upper right. or lower. So part of my curiosity then is the I don't know what com like I'm assuming there's some issue that can come about using DAX to do this uh, rather than maybe necessarily doing it uh, in in the the Power Query window upon import. Um, so like. Not knowing anything else, that would be my assumption, or at least my curiosity. Yeah, look, I've seen this quite a few times when people basically create a copy of a column in mm. DAX and not Power Query, and then change the um, uh, case. Uh, yeah. In, in my mind, that's a bit excessive because, first of all, like you said, I would do it in Power Query, and second, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. most importantly, probably. DAX by default is not, not case sensitive. And so let me illustrate what I mean. So I'm, good, I'm just going to go to um, enter that. Actually, I could have done it from here as well. Enter data. And let's uh, do a simple column. And it's going to be, say, A, A, B, B. And let's edit it before loading. I want to show it in Power Query. And what I'd like to show is the number of distinct values. So it says four distinct, four unique. Um, by the way, just in case someone's curious, what's the difference between distinct and unique? Because to me, at first, they seemed like synonyms. Unique means a value appears exactly once. And distinct uh, means just different kinds of uh, values. So in this case, it's uh, all the same. Now. What I'd like to do is uh, do a distinct count, uh, just to be sure. Like, I'm sure it's four, but just to illustrate. So let's do transform and statistics count distinct values. OK, four, just to be sure, right? Mm -hmm. So let's go back. And let's load this, close and apply. Table loading. That also and can that see. can cause issues yeah. sometimes when you have a one to many relationship because a power power query might think that column is distinct uh, if if mm -hmm. you have upper and lower but then you load it uh, into the model and it it can be uh, and vice versa it can become not distinct so there there actually can be issues in the fact that power query is case and it's sensitive and DAX is not so then that can cause like refresh failure sometimes because you you can't refresh a table that had a distinct value in a one to many relationship and if it becomes not distinct then it uh, it will fail that uh, that refresh. Yes, you're absolutely right. Actually, I did have uh, a case like once uh, a few years ago. I forgot what this data source was. I think it was some accounting software, or maybe it was Salesforce. Anyway, it was some software that used not integers for keys and not GUIDs. It was some short alphanumeric string, mm -hmm. and in that system, it just so happened that there were keys where 
there was different case. And so in that system, the keys were different. Now, once you load it, as you'll see now, DAX doesn't care about the case. It's actually converted to two values. So you see there are four rows and two yep. distinct values, right? And so, yes, essentially you get an issue because it's the same case once you load it and then you cannot create a one-to-many relationship mm -hmm. in case uh, you have uh, keys that have different cases. So yeah, now another question, does DAX care about the case in columns that are in different tables, like when you create relationships between them? I don't think so. So let's create another table and we'll do enter data again and then let's do A, A and B, B, lowercase. Right now, let's make it interesting. Five rows instead of four. Let's load, and then actually let's see whether it's uh, loaded as lowercase. Okay, it's lowercase. Great. Mm -hmm. Now let's create a relationship between them. And here it is. Actually, it's going to be many to many, right? Um, okay, it doesn't matter. Many to many, both is okay for our purposes. Okay. Okay. Now let's start with table <laughs> that is table one and uh, we'll do hmm, a table visual. Okay. And then let's do this. Yeah. So you see, there is a perfect match. Actually, if I do a count. Yes, two and three. So you see DAX doesn't care about the case even when you create a relationship between two columns. Yep. So what's the issue here? Now, first, this is completely excessive. Like you don't need this column. You don't need to change yep. the case in DAX most of the time unless you encounter this issue that I had like once in however many years I've worked with Power BI. Yep. <laughs> and in any case, Using those keys would be a bit erroneous. I would still try to use integers as much as I could. And so you create a copy of a column for no good reason. So your data model becomes larger and it's just useless, you know? So just try to avoid it. And uh, remember that DAX, in most cases, doesn't care about the case. Yep. The, the, the important thing, though, is, is to note is like when you actually drag it onto the column, uh, if you have an uppercase A and a lowercase A, it will still show as separate rows in your, in your table, though, in the visual itself. It, it, uh, it showed both, I believe, when you, when you dragged it into here, did it not? Actually, but, no, you see, if we go to table and we look at uh, the column A, A, B, B, so mm -hmm. there are four rows, two distinct values, and they really so, are so distinct values. They're not four. Change the, yeah, change the count of column back to... Uh, uh, Put the two columns next to each other, just display any of the rows with them. Uh, yep. Gotcha. So it, it still does display it as lowercase a, even though it, it doesn't actually care about. So th that's what I mean is if, if column one from table two actually had a row with an uppercase a and, a lower, and one row with a lowercase a, and you put it into the visual to display but not aggregate, would you get a row for uppercase a and lowercase a? No, no, because they really are the same value once loaded. We get uppercase and lowercase here because they come from different tables where values are stored differently. Because in table two, the values are lowercase. Okay, can you, I want to test something quickly. Can you go to, uh, just go to Homer, edit that query. Uh, yeah, just for t table, table one or two, it doesn't matter. Yeah, in table one, okay. I had a mix of cases here. Ah, uppercase, so, it, so what it does is it takes the first value and then it, it it applies that case to the rest of them, it looks like. Yes, uh, I'll be honest. I don't understand the mechanism like as to which one is picked because there is no concept of row order in DAX as such. And so maybe it's the first one. I cannot guarantee it. Yeah, yeah. But I, I think the, we, we can maybe at least assume that it's, it's potentially it looks for the first row with, with the unique value, applies yeah. that case to Perfect. the remaining ones. Okay, so it can display Perfect. both. Um, upper and lower case, but uh, as far uh, for, as far as um, displaying different values in the, uh, from, com from the same column in the same table, you'll never get duplicates. So if you had product name uh, with a title case, product name, lowercase, product name, 
capitalized. By the time you display it in a visual or key off of it, they'll all be the same thing, as long as they have the same characters. Yeah. 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 More precisely, by the time you load it, they yep. will be the same. In Power yep. Query, they will be different though. Ex exactly. And I know that that confuses some people and trips them up sometimes because you know you have two different languages, one with case sensitivity and one without case sensitivity. So it's uh, it's fun to have yeah, to try to remember which is which. Yes, only in Power BI. Um, but no, th this was very useful, Daniel. Uh, thank you so much for sharing this. And um, I, I'm sure that people got a, a, a good amount of information on this, especially considering like, yeah, with, with keys, by the time it loads, if it is a mix of, uh, of text and, uh, and integers, then um, you don't have to worry about the sensitivity. Yeah, even if the cases are different in different columns, they will still join just fine. Yep, exactly. Great. Thank you for sharing. Please don't forget to like, comment, or share this video. Now, if this is your first time to my channel or you want to see more of these awesome videos, please click that subscribe and notification button. Also, feel free to show your support by becoming a channel member. Last but not least, you can download the file for today's video from my blog files page using the link down below. So until next time.